What's up, fam? Welcome back to the Mikey Mike Show. It's me, Michael B. Wiley. And before we get right into this video, fam, I want you guys to hit that like button, press the subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you can get notified every time I drop a video. Now, let's get right into it. Now, I don't know if you guys heard about um, this just hilarious comment. However, um, it's been getting a lot of it's been getting a lot of attention, and I want to play this video for you guys so you guys can get a better understanding of what I'm talking about and a better understanding about the topic. So, before we get into the discussion, without further ado, I'm gonna play two two little clips for you, two small clips for you guys, so you guys can know the subject at hand. All right, take a look at this video. Who the fuck is gonna stand up for us? <laughs> Who the fuck stands up for us? And us, I mean women, real women, biological women, women who were born with all the parts that you guys wish that you were. Um, when does the delusion stop? What is the difference between um, you and someone who has been um, diagnosed to be mentally insane? What's the, the only difference is you don't have a straight jacket on. Stop talking out your fucking ass. Wake up. How are you projecting your anger on real women? Because we are the gatekeepers. We are the gatekeepers for periods. We're the only one that fucking bleed, honey. We're the only ones that can give birth. We make y'all people. We make y'all. Y'all come from us. You can't be us. You will never. You're chasing something you'll never, ever get. You'll never be that. This is what I mean when the transphobia just comes out the audacity and just the 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 arrogance for cis women to believe that they own periods that they own womanhood you don't okay you don't own periods you don't own womanhood you experience both and both are different for every person but as a cis woman it doesn't belong to you so you can't gatekeep it like hello now i don't necessarily think just hilarious is wrong for what she said, I just think she could have worded it a little better. Because we live in a society where everyone is super sensitive to the truth. Super sensitive to the truth. It's like if you if you blink the truth, you get canceled or chastised or prosecuted if you blink the truth. And that has to change. Okay? Jess felt hurt by some of the comments that some people will say about biological women and she felt the need to take it to her own platform to say how she feel or felt you know so without that being said you know she she's right and we all should just stay in our own lane. You know, women go through so much. You know, my wife had preeclampsia when she had our first son, you know. So it's like I understand where Jess coming from. And I understand what she means. She just could have said it a little better. And to see my wife give birth to all three of my kids, with whom, too, she had preeclampsia with, it was just remarkable and a phenomenal experience. And also a life learning and a life changing experience for everybody because she almost lost her life. Excuse me. She almost lost her life giving birth to our first son. Um, women should not have their rights taken away. And the same people and please don't counsel me or please don't be mad at me. But the same people that women fight hard for or women has fought hard for are the same people that are trying to take their rights away from them, who they are. It's like a sense of knowing who you are and being comfortable in your skin. And for people to take that right away because of who they have become is not necessarily right. And I'm, a, and I'm treading very lightly here because we do have people that will cancel you 
literally for telling the truth. Let's just say, for instance, let's say 15 biological men and 15 trans women went on the island together, right? They're going to die. It's just going to be them 30 people on that island. There's not going to be no reproducing. So how can we say that a woman is not a woman? Because she's born a woman. That's not cool, fam. Women endure and go through so much already that somebody do need to step up and fight for them. And it's us as men that should be fighting for a woman, whether you're gay, straight, bi, we all should be fighting for women's rights and keep them protected in a way to where their womanhood is protected because that's their natural born right. Just said nothing wrong and she said it correctly, but the wording, some of the wording could have just been tweaked a little bit. But she said nothing, absolutely, it, everything was true. And we get mad at that stuff. Now, this lady, or this this trans this trans woman, felt the need to say what she said because she was hurt, or you know, and and, and that's cool. You heard about hearing a woman say that you will never be a woman, and it's understandable. Like I said, we live in a society where, where everybody is just super sensitive. You know, some people are born women and some people go get themselves made up to be women. But because you're going to get yourself made up to be a woman or because you want to transition yourself to be a woman doesn't mean you get the absolute right to take woman rights away from them. Absolute right to tell a woman that she's not a woman or call her anything other than what she wants to be called. Womanhood is essential just like manhood and this go for gay straight bi whatever there are women that are gay that don't agree with this and that are men and there are men that are gay that don't agree with this so why when somebody that's heterosexual or a straight woman say hey Okay, you live in your life, that's cool. You wanna you wanna dress like me, act like me, get my body parts, that's cool. But don't take away who I am to make yourself feel comfortable. You know, it, it, it's, it's kinda getting out of hand. And we all need to just come together and just think about the, 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 the sacrifices our mothers took to get every last individual human being on this planet here everybody on this planet comes from a woman you were carried in her womb it's just getting out right out of hand and we sit around like we don't see nothing we sit around like we don't hear nothing we sit around like we, we 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 can't say nothing, but that's all false. You can say something, it's just how, how you say it. There's people in the LGBTQ community, and, I, and if there's more letters, forgive me, that really agree with Jess. Flame Monroe is one of them. So 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 why are we just acting like she doesn't have a right to feel how she feel about it because she is a biological woman? People get mad at you because she want to be uh, she want to be referred to as a woman and not a cis woman. You know, and we can't be sensitive to women needs and what they want, but we can be sensitive to everybody else needs. If you can catch my drift, my mother is a woman. Your mother is a woman, her mother is a woman, and that trans woman, her mother is a woman. 
You get what I'm saying? There has to there has to be some kind of lie. There has to be some kind of black and white. We have to fight for our women. They got us here. And man, I challenge you because these are men dressed as women. These are men transitioning as women. So it's up to us as men to say, hey, you want to live your life, live your life. But look, we have women that we have to protect. And we're not, we're not just going to stand away and just do away with everything because of people feelings. Growing up, if I did something that I wasn't supposed to do and I got sensitive about it, my father didn't care. My mother didn't care. They punished me according to what I did. Whether I was crying, whether I was begging and pleading to get out of, of the punishment, they punished me for my wrongdoing. So us as men, we need to step to the to the front line and say, hey, let's help our women out. Let's give them their rights back. Let's give them their womanhood back. Yes, yes, let's give them that. Let's give them that back. I remember my sister when she came on her cycle. She was crying. She didn't know what to do. She went to my mom and said, Mom, I think, I think, you know, it's it's something going on with me. And my mom and her went out to eat. They went and did all this stuff together, all this woman stuff, all this girl stuff together. They just they just had a good old time. And my mom had to explain to her the changes her body was going through naturally. And here we are telling women that, that the changes they go through naturally, the things they do for us naturally, having birth, carrying the child, being the nurturer of a home, the stuff they do naturally, the stuff that they are supposed to do because it's natural to them to do. We're going we gonna to say, we're going to take it away and let other groups of individuals take that away from them after they didn't fought for you guys to be who you are, to be yourselves. There is not Nobody more supportive in the black and there's nobody's more supportive in the gay community than black women. They they got on the line for you guys and to just turn around and you just see them slapping, you know, the people that they fought for slap them in the face. My sister have a gay best friend or well, she had one. I don't know if she still have one. You know, my wife have a gay best friend. My stepmom had a gay best friend. My mama had a gay best friend. And, and, and what I've learned from all of them, they were the best and the best of best friends and they didn't let nobody disrespect them or make them feel in any kind of way. But now what I'm seeing in this culture, in this society, is that the 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 the, the dues that these black women particularly just I mean all women have paid the dues for this, but particularly black women, the dues they paid for trans and LGBTQ communities to have a voice. In the moment they say, okay, you know, we, we, we did this for you guys, but can we at least have this for ourselves? Y'all get, y'all, y'all tell them no. That doesn't make you a woman. Y'all tell them the very thing that makes them a woman do, do not make them a woman. It's not right. And we have to change it. And we do have to come together, y'all. We have to, just as right, who's going to stick up for women? We sticking up for this community, that community. You know, who's going to stick up for them? And then we get canceled left and right, left and right, because we have an opinion. There's nobody in the LGBTQ community that has an opinion getting canceled. We need to make a change and we need to stop playing pretend
and I'm going to end it right there. It's not my field. I had to talk about it because I was getting so many emails to talk about it. Like, Mike, just please talk about this. And I, and I wanted to talk about it. And, I, and I'm glad I came to talk about it because I had to get that off. Trans women, listen. And listen well. Listen clear. The women, and this is not all trans women. But the women that you guys are disrespecting is the same woman that was on the front line with the armor on, fighting for your rights, fighting for you to be treated with respect. And if you can't respect them, the people that fought for you and that respect you, how you gonna demand it from somebody else? And that's all I got to say. Y'all tell me what you think. Peace out.